Guys, I think I passed the first stage of grafting finally. I put a video out two years ago trying to graft a pear onto a flowering pear. So this is a Bradford pear. Flowering pear. That big old tree right there. I got three of them. I got one right here, one right there that I did some grafting on, and I think that one is actually one too, but it's way too tall. There's no smaller branches on there. So that's why I haven't tried to do grafting on there. But yeah, I, I decided to try to graft uh, my Florida home peach or Florida home pear onto this Bradford pear or fruiting pear. It might be another kind of, I keep, I'm saying fruiting pear. I mean flowering pear. It might be another kind of flowering pear, but it is a pear. I, I checked the leaves before I cut this thing down and the leaves were identical. So the first year, all of my grafts died. Every single one of them died. And I, I got a little discouraged, but I decided I got way too many limbs on my Florida home pear. I'm going to try this again because I had to prune the thing anyway. You got to prune these trees anyway, so why not take the prunes and do something with them? So I gave it another shot, and here we go. You see, you see that? That's new growth on a pear that was grafted. That's new growth. This one, I don't think this one, this is still green, but it's like a Chico stick. It's real dry. I don't know if this one is going to make it. This one right here was recently put on, so we're not going to make any determination on this. This one has been on for like three months and over the winter, and it came back and it has green. You see, this one doesn't count because this is part of the regular tree. This is from my first attempt. My first attempt I used is blue tape. I tried to do a graph like this. And this, I, none of them took, I don't believe. And this one actually burst out one of the old, part of the old rootstock. So this is not one. But this is a graph. And you see that green right there? This zoom is just terrible. You see that green right there? That's growth. Here's another graph. You can even tell because this smaller side and then the upper side is bigger, <laughs> but it still took, look at that green new growth. This one is one of the most successful ones. So this is from the prior rootstock that grew up last year after I failed and I tried grafted on top of that. You see this one black stick didn't make it, but this one on the right made it. And so we have some successful grafts on here. This one was recent, so we don't know quite yet. This one looked like a Chico stick. I don't, I don't think it's gonna make it. It's pretty dry. But really, all I wanted to do was one. All I wanted was one of them to make it. As I said before, I got some newer ones that I actually grafted onto this a couple weeks ago. That was from an Ayers pair that I grafted. These older ones are from my Florida home pair that I've had for like four years. And they are looking good. So I'm excited. I got a fruiting pair grafted onto a flowering pair, a mature flowering pair. You see how thick that that is? That caliper is? Goes down into here. I think this is one tree. It's just that one I didn't decide to cut down. This one I did.